Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about the Apple Data Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of not only the process itself, but what interviewers look at and a bunch of tips for each round. As a quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This overview has been put together by Apple data engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully, the very same ones who have helped hundreds of candidates with mock interviews and advice. This is a video version of our much more in-depth written guide, which we will link within the description. And you can also book some time directly with the coaches for more personalized guidance on Prepfully's website. Right, okay then, moving on to the overview. As part of the Apple Data Engineer interview, the candidate will need to go through five primary rounds. The first, an initial screening round, where you will receive a phone call and you will be asked questions related to your past experience and projects completed. The second round, i.e. the technical screening round, is where you will be asked technical questions over a phone or video call. Technical questions include coding tests and theory questions. Apple will be able to analyze your technical skills in this round. In the third round, you will meet someone from the technical team who will ask you technical design questions and also might give you some problem solving tasks. Your problem solving skills will be tested here. The fourth round involves a behavioral interview where you will be asked analytical questions. Apple wants to know whether you are motivated to work at their company and what value you will add to them. The final round involves an on-site interview where you will be interviewed multiple times in the company. You will go through several rounds of interview and your performance in each round will contribute towards your selection process. Let us talk about step one, the initial screening round. During this stage, the hiring team evaluates your qualifications and experience to determine if you'd be a good fit for the role and for the company. To start, you'll need to submit your resume and cover letter and answer preliminary questions about your qualifications and experience. This helps the hiring team assess your background, skills and qualifications to ensure you meet the basic requirements for the role. This is your chance to make a good impression and show your passion and qualifications for the role. So be prepared and show them why you are the best candidate for the job. Good luck. Some tips for getting through this round. Make sure your resume and cover letter are well written and highlight your relevant skills, experience and accomplishments. This is your chance to showcase why you are the best candidate for the role. During the phone screening, you will need to explain your qualifications, experience and goals clearly and concisely. Practice your communication skills beforehand to ensure you are able to do this effectively. You may be asked technical questions related to data engineering, so be prepared to answer them. Make sure you have a good understanding of the data structures, algorithms and programming languages. The phone screening is your chance to make a good impression and show your enthusiasm for the role. So make sure you are well prepared and demonstrate your passion and qualifications for the position. Next then is step two, the second stage of the second round of interview. You will face a technical round. In this stage, you will typically be asked to take an online coding test or answer technical questions in a phone or video call with a recruiter. The focus of the technical screening is to assess your ability to solve problems, think critically, and understand the technical concepts relevant to the role of a data engineer. This process is designed to give Apple a better understanding of your technical abilities and assess your potential fit for the data engineer role. We have some tips for this round. Make sure you have a solid understanding of data structures, algorithms, and programming languages. Review any areas where you feel you may be weak and practice coding and problem solving regularly. Be comfortable with explaining your thought process and approach to solving technical problems. The interviewers want to see how you approach problems and how you arrive at your solutions. Be familiar with common data engineering tools and technologies such as Hadoop, Spark and SQL. If you have experience working with these tools, make sure to highlight it. Finally, be confident, focused and engaged during the technical screening. Stay calm and listen carefully to the question and don't forget to show enthusiasm for the role. 
the third round, that is the technical interview process for a data engineering role at Apple, involves multiple rounds of technical questions and problem solving exercises to evaluate your technical skills and ability to apply them in real world scenarios. You will be asked various questions about various topics, including programming languages, databases, data management tools, data modeling, distributed systems, and cloud computing. Expect to showcase your critical thinking skills and ability to tackle complex problems by solving a technical problem or designing a solution to a hypothetical one. You will also be asked about your experience with database management and design data warehousing and data lake concepts, parallel processing, MapReduce, and distributed databases. Finally, the interviewer will inquire about your familiarity with cloud computing platforms and their infrastructure, security, and data storage. The following tips will surely help you. Brush up on your knowledge of data processing frameworks, such as Hadoop and Spark, and data working solutions like Redshift and Snowflake. Be prepared to explain how you have used these tools in your past projects and how you would apply them to solve real world problems. You should be able to clearly communicate your thought process and explain how you arrived at your solution. Make sure to highlight your experience collaborating on projects as well as your communication skills. Familiarize yourself with Apple's data infrastructure and the types of projects the team has worked on in the past. This will not only show that you are interested in the role, but it will also help you prepare for questions that may come up in the interview. The fourth round, i.e. the behavioral round, you will be asked questions about your past experiences and how you handled specific situations to assess your behavior and determine your suitability for the role. This type of interview is designed to evaluate your ability to work in a team, handle challenges and solve real problems in a real world setting. The interviewer will be looking for specific examples of your experiences and how you handled situations in the past to determine if you have the right personality, work style, and communication skills for the data engineering role at Apple. These tips will surely help you for this round. To prepare for this interview, think about your past experiences and prepare specific examples that showcase your problem-solving skills and ability to work in a team. Use the STAR method to structure your answers, explain the situation, task, action you took, and the result of your actions. It is important that you answer the questions in a clear, concise, and confident manner. Take the time to listen carefully to the interviewer's questions and make sure to answer them directly and honestly. Remember to showcase your communication skills by explaining your thought process and how you arrived at your decisions. The final round, i.e. the on-site interview, helps to gain a deeper understanding of your technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and cultural fit within the organization. You'll be asked a mix of technical and behavioral questions, and you may also be given hands-on coding exercises or case studies to work through. During the technical interviews, you will be expected to solve coding problems or work through data engineering scenarios to assess your skills and your ability to think on your feet. The behavioral interviews will focus on your cultural fit and your ability to work collaboratively with others. You will also be asked to describe your past experiences and how you handled challenging situations to evaluate your ability to work well within a team. These three tips will surely help you out. It is important to practice your technical skills and problem solving abilities. Reviewing the company's products, services, and mission statements can also help you demonstrate your cultural fit. Be yourself, stay relaxed and confident, and showcase your unique abilities and personality. That's all from us. If you want to assess your preparation or practice, you can schedule a confidential mock interview with an Apple data engineer on Prepfully using the link in the description. You will also find links to helpful resources, including a written guide and interview questions in the description. If you have additional questions about the interview, leave a comment. And if you found the video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prep Fully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.